Okay, great. Thanks very much, everyone, for joining us for this post-match press conference following England versus Australia. We're joined by Australia captain Aaron Finch. Um, as you will know by now, we take questions from the press conference room here in Dubai before we'll shift over to Zoom. If you have a question, please can you put your hand up? And if you are selected, you'll need to unmute yourself, ask your question, and then mute yourself immediately following. So I will start by taking questions in the room, please. Can I just see a show of hands? Yeah, hi, hi, Aaron. Dean Wilson here. Um, what was your take on that game in the end? Was it just complete dominance by England or did you have a bad day? Oh, they completely dominated us from the start. I think um, any time that you go a handful down in the power play, and you, we just any time we felt like we started to get a partnership, we just kept losing a wicket and just meant we had to try and sit in longer to, to hopefully get to a total of around 150 and, and see if that would be competitive. But... Um, as it was, we probably needed a few more. You've obviously played a lot of cricket against England down the years. Have you come up against a team as strong as this one? Yeah, they're very good. They're 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 very well rounded. They've got a lot of bases covered in in terms of their quicks, uh, spin, death bowling, and their batting's as powerful as anything. And I mean, when Rash is batting at number ten, uh, you know you've got a pretty good lineup. So yeah, they're they're a, they're a dominant side, no doubt. We've we've seen that for the last couple of years, but. Um, yeah, that, yeah we, we had a bad day as well. And just finally from me, Josh Butler's performance, uh, where would you put that one? It looked pretty special. Yeah, it was a, a outstanding knock. He struck the ball cleanly. Um, we knew that they were going to come hard as well. So, yeah, it was just one of those things that, that you have to keep pressing when you've got the ball in your hand. And, um, yeah, it didn't quite go away. Uh, I mean, uh, I guess Mitch, Mitch Stark hasn't been hit, hit onto the top deck too often in back-to-back -back deliveries. I'm not sure. No, I don't think so, but, yeah, I'm not sure. Okay. And um, Steve Smith, is he okay? Is he, is he holding his groin? Is, is he... No, he'll be fine. Bit, no, of, a, bit no, of a twinge or something? No, he didn't mention anything, so I'm, I'm sure that he'll be fine. Um, we're all getting a bit old, aren't we? Okay. Uh, are there any more questions in the room here? No? Okay, I think we'll now switch over to Zoom, so over to you, Cole. Yeah, we'll start with Salman Khan. Thank you, Aaron. Uh, you know, today was not your day, and England completely, dom completely dominated uh, England in all departments. What do you think that, what was the turning point where that you guys made wrong? Oh, I think the, obviously the power play was was they, they bowled very well, put us on the back foot, and then and then we're under pressure to try and get to a, a competitive total. So the, all, all credit to England in that power play, the way that they squeezed us, um, kept taking wickets, which which obviously when you go in with six six specialist batters, that, that probably is going to leave you a little bit short at times. We'll go to Arkhoom. Uh yeah, um, hard luck, uh, man. Uh, Shane Warne uh, earlier said that uh, he was disappointed about uh, your selection of uh, playing Steve Smith and not playing uh, Marsh and also sending Maxwell in uh, the power play. Uh, do you agree on his views and uh, also guide me to uh, the due factor because um, uh, Mohammed Nabi last night, uh, he also said that uh, the due factor was not into play. Uh, so how did the, the due factor play today? Yeah, the due come in a little bit towards the end there, but I don't think it would have made a huge amount of difference. Um, what was the other one? Maxwell going in in the power play. When you've only got six specialist batters, you're, you're backing your your top six to get the job done. Um, so there's no issues there. Maxie's done it extremely well in the in the past. Um, he's as destructive as anyone if he gets, gets through the power play. So um, that's okay. And... What was the other one? Smith instead of... Uh, yeah, uh, Smith instead of uh, Marsh. Oh, that's just, a, that's just subjective, isn't it? You've got, um, everyone's got a different opinion on it, and no, that's okay. But we, we thought we picked a team to, to win the game tonight. Sorry. Well, Hello. Well, there we go. Louis Cameron. Hey, Finchie. Um, yeah, just kind of picking up a little bit on that. Can you just kind of explain what, what was the rationale behind leaving um, Mitch Marsh out and, and how did you kind of feel like that balance um, worked out, mate? 
oh, clearly when you go three down in the power play, um, it's not an ideal scenario when you when you go in with with that um, structured team. The reason Agar was in there was was we felt it was a really good match up for England. Um, his ability to bowl in the power play and, and through the middle overs in the past against England has, has been really good. So uh, we just felt that that was the that was the way to go tonight, um, and it was not a reflection on how Mitch has been going at all. It was it was purely just a match up thing for this game, and um, yeah, it was unfortunate we didn't, didn't get the job done. Just more generally with this team, Aaron, is there a sense of it still kind of kind of gelling? Obviously, it's a, it's a very different team um, to the one that you you took to the West Indies and, and then that obviously played in Bangladesh as well. Is there still kind of you're kind of figuring out how you how you work together? Oh, I don't think so. I, th I think we've majority of us have played a lot of cricket together um, over the years, whether it's uh, over different formats. So I think that you that can naturally that that happens anyway. So. I'll, no, is, is the simple answer to that. Yeah, Aaron, I know it's a very simple question, but how do you turn things around, mate, when, you, when it's a thumping like that? Like, how do you make sure that doesn't become a psychological thing going into a game in, and what are we, four days' time? Oh, I think we've got a couple of days off to refresh and recharge. With The, the boys have, have been training really well and um, deserve, deserve a couple of days off, so... Uh, it was a quick turnaround from the Sri Lankan game to today, so um, recharge the batteries and then a couple of really strong days of training and, and then we'll be back into it. So, yeah, I, th there's a lot of experience in the group. I'm, I'm not concerned about um, carrying baggage into a, into a different game against a totally different opposition. There is. Dan Brady. G'day, Aaron. Um, did that result um, cast your mind back at all to that 2019 World Cup semi-final where England and Chris Wokes specifically sort of got on top of you right from the off? It hadn't until right now. So thanks for that, mate. Um, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a fantastic bowler. When, when there's anything in the wicket in particular, he's, he's a beautiful bowler, uh, presents the seam and, and can seam it both ways. So he challenged both sides of the bat tonight and, and uh, like he did in that game at uh, Birmingham. So... Yeah, we're, if we come up against him again, we're going to need a, a bit better plan. Is, is, you mentioned the plan there. Is, is there anything specifically you can do differently in that situation or is it a case of saying, um, of just saying too good? Oh, I think if we... Each individual player will have their own plan and, and that's, um, that's probably not going to change a huge amount um, for me personally. I tried to bat out of my crease to try and take that LBW out of play. And, um, yeah, it was just one of those nights where Davey got a, a decent one early, Smithy toe-ended one, and Maxi um, missed a pick-up off his pads, which you generally expect him to hit. So um, that can happen in the power play when, when you're looking to be aggressive. So, um, yeah, just blown away, though. Thank you. Rowett Juglin. Uh, tough luck, Ron. Just want to ask that. Uh, can you tell us about what's happening with batting first in more than 10 games, not seen teams scoring runs? Are you picking up something? Why it's happening? Uh, asking about all the teams, not not specifically about Australia, but are you picking up something? Oh, I, th I think with the wicket, there's they've been reasonably dry, and then once the lights take effect, they even when there hasn't been dew, the, it feels like the wicket is skidding on a little bit more. So that, that's that's all it is. Um, so I think teams have probably been a little bit more cautionary uh, in the first six overs when they bat first to try and get through to them back end of the innings. But um, yeah, batting batting second seems to have been the, the way to go. So the, the toss has been really important in this tournament so far. Usama Zafar. Uh, hi, Aaron. Uh, hard luck today. Uh, I just wanted to ask you, what do you think went wrong today in today's game as Australia started uh, pretty well in the tournament, but uh, right now you guys uh, didn't uh, play well in this game. And also there is one thought that Australia are not that uh, good team in T20 eyes uh, as compared to the ODIs. So what do you think about that? Thank you. Uh, well, it wasn't too long ago that we were number one in the world, so I, I still think that we're... We're a very good team in T20 international cricket. Um, everyone's got their own opinion, so that, that doesn't doesn't really matter. What matters is results. So that, that's that's fine if if you think that we're a really ordinary side, that's okay. Um, and what was the first part of the question? Um, oh, where, where did it, we got 125 on a, yeah, on a yeah. wicket that that after the. 
probably after the first five overs, the the wicket seemed to die down and, and play a little bit better. So the fact that we we're three down in that in them five overs probably just made it made we just had to hang in the game a little bit longer than than we would have liked. We couldn't have been or we weren't able to be as proactive. So um, yeah, that, that's that's whenever you get blown away in the power play, it tends to happen a little bit like that. Last one here, folks. Louis Cameron. Aaron, I just thought I'd ask about your, your next two games against Bangladesh and, and the West Indies. Obviously, the results um, didn't really go your way earlier this season. Does, does that, sorry, earlier this year, does, does that count for anything? And, and do you kind of look at these two games as, as basically must win? Oh, they're definitely must wins. Yeah, I think our net run rate took a hammering tonight. Um, yeah, so we're going to have to beat our best again. Bangladesh are a, a very, very good side, and, and so are the West Indies. A lot of firepower in their team, uh, a lot of experience. So, yeah, absolutely. It's must win from now on. But we're looking forward to it. Thanks, Louis. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, guys. Thanks for your time, Aaron. Thanks, Carl. Thanks, Mitchie.